Hi, I'm Tamara Riddle, and welcome to another edition of Triangle Business Spotlight. We're excited that you're here, and right now we're going to be covering the topic with Dr. Dan Johnson, owner of Avian and Exotic, and Exotic Animal Care, on how to find a great veterinarian when you're looking online. And we know that there are thousands of people in the Triangle area who go online to search for someone to care for their pets every day. And Dr. Dan is here to help us select a great veterinarian. So how are you today, Dr. Ba Dr. Dan? I'm doing great, Tamara. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being here. And Dr. Dan, when it comes to choosing a veterinarian to care for your pet, there are dozens of them that come up when you search online. So what advice would you give someone who's looking for a great veterinarian to care for their pets? Well, in Raleigh, North Carolina, of course, there's a vet school and there's hundreds of new veterinarians graduating every few years and staying in this area. So it is hard. It seems like there's a veterinarian on every street corner. What I tell people is, uh, I mean, they ask me frequently, uh, who would you recommend to see your dog or cat? Uh, I first ask them where they are in, in, uh, in terms of what part of Raleigh or the triangle that they live in, because having a veterinarian that's relatively close to you is very important. You want to be able to drop your animal off on the way to work, pick them up after. If uh, there's an emergency, you'd like to be able to get there quickly. So if somebody's uh, telling me that they live uh, you know, on the north side of Raleigh, then typically I'll have a colleague there and uh, somebody that uh, I know personally. So for anybody who's looking for a veterinarian in the Raleigh-Durham, Chapel Hill area, I'd recommend they check with uh, their friends who have pets and ask them who they're using, who they recommend, who they had a good experience with, who's uh, responsive to their needs, and um, try to find somebody relatively close. That's not an absolute, but it's always helpful. Then um, there, are, there are other secondary, I mean, word of mouth, is the most important thing for a veterinarian and so a veterinarian that's giving good service to their clients will uh, I think be somebody's best bet but then you can go on and, and look at other factors like uh, hours, uh, cost, uh, relative experience, uh, the size of the practice uh, these are all factors that you could consider you know I think are important to clients Okay, that's that's great. Um, so, would you could you explain to people who are looking for a veterinarian to care for their exotic pets what kind of service and experience they can expect to have when they come to avian and exotic animal care? Sure. Our veterinary practice is devoted exclusively to avian and exotic animal pets. Uh, these are, in veterinary terms, it's almost anything other than a dog or a cat, and so it's a niche practice. Uh, although every veterinarian hopefully gets some exposure to exotics when they're in vet school, most will tell you up front that they don't have a lot of experience or they don't see exotics at all. We saw that as a niche, an underserved area, and the three doctors here see only, dog, only exotics, no dogs or cats. But we model our practice after a dog or cat hospital. So what a... a bird or rabbit or guinea pig or fish owner can expect from avian exotic animal care is the same level of service you would expect at a practice that you take your golden retriever or your cat to. That means we have regular office appointments, we see daytime emergencies, we're uh, experienced in medicine and diagnostics, surgery, uh, we also offer boarding. So we have regular business hours, we have weekend hours, but uh, we're the kind of place you would bring your goldfish or your hamster if they were as important to you as a dog or a cat. That's great. And do you all make house calls for larger animals? Sure. We offer house calls, and house calls are for two reasons. One, they might be for an animal that's maybe too large or a collection that's too large to bring to our animal hospital. And it might be for an animal that's um, a wellness visit, for example, in a cage. Uh, perhaps it's an older person that uh, doesn't drive or somebody who's not able to handle their pet. Uh, you'd be surprised, but there are people who have birds 
yet they can't get a hold of the bird to get it into a container to bring it to our office. So um, there's a variety of reasons somebody might want a house call. Where possible, I try not to do sick animal house calls. And uh, although uh, house calls are usually done by me, uh, almost uh, anybody here can, uh, can be called out on a house call. That's great. That's a great service. Um, so do you have something special that you do to attract or welcome new patients um, to your practice? Well, I do. Um, to attract new patients in terms of uh, the way I get the word out about our practice, uh, very often people see me out on weekends at uh, exotic animal shows, trade shows, uh, uh, exhibiting at the museum, wherever there's a function where there's a lot of people that uh, are animal minded, animal interested, that's where I go and uh, our practice is usually there and we're shaking hands and asking people about their animals and finding out uh, if uh, we'd be the right practice for them. Uh, for new clients, uh, anybody who's got an exotic animal pet, we recommend that they just give us a call. Uh, we're able to answer questions, uh, field questions, uh, maybe questions that you had thought you might ask your pet store, but uh, we can give you the perspective of a veterinarian that sees uh, the problems, the common problems that an exotic pet has. Uh, maybe the pet store uh, breeders don't always see that end. And uh, hopefully we can prepare you to avoid those problems. And by offering a checkup to your exotic pet every 6 to 12 months, we hope that we can prevent a lot of diseases rather than just reacting to the common ones. Okay, that's, that's great to know. Um, thank you, Dr. Dan, for sharing your advice on how to find a great veterinarian when you search online and for introducing us to avian and exotic animal care. Thank you so much, Tamara, for inviting me. Okay, you're welcome. And to, for our audience, if you have an exotic pet, be sure to go see Dr. Dan and his wonderful staff at Avian and Exotic, and exotic Animal Care. And be sure to visit the link below to request an appointment. Thanks for watching.